Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. We are guys in the kitchen we're about to make some arroz con pollo that's chicken and rice guys or rice with chicken <laughs> whichever way you want to look at it uh, but here we go guys i have a little more than one tablespoon of bacon drippings you're welcome to use uh, avocado oil and or olive oil whatever you have around and i am mixing in two and a half ounces of red onions i'm gonna saute these and then set them aside all right guys so while the onions are sauteing here we are we're going to go ahead and blend these up now i'm doing small pieces at a time but i could chop by hand but guys that ain't happening today so let's get started with this let's see if it works using a small batch and it's just going to be a few pulses actually all right let's see how it goes let's look inside that's three pulses pretty good pieces there yeah I think that's gonna work so that's how I will do it guys see you when I'm done all right guys so we've sauteed our onions I've set them aside in another container and here we are now and we are browning our chicken now if you guys want to cut off all that extra fat that's on your chicken go for it these are boneless skinless thighs y'all know the flavors and the fat guys I'm leaving it on I'm not salting or peppering or anything right now I'm just letting these cook in the baking drippings and once it's browned on one side, I'll flip it over. Look away, babies. Guys, so it's browned on both sides. At this point, guys, you're going to go ahead and add all the seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this across my chicken. Don't worry if it's not evenly distributed. It's just to get the flavorings in there. Then we're going to add back our onions. Get all that out. All right. And then garlic guys i am out of fresh garlic so i'm going to use the tubed garlic i wish i had the real stuff sorry just out of it so as much as you want but again keep in mind there are carbs in garlic let's look at that carb count guys so for a three quarter teaspoon you were talking about one gram of carb and then i'm gonna add maybe a quarter cup maybe less maybe an eighth of a cup of some broth you're going to mix everything around then you'll turn your stove to low on then you'll mix this around cover it and simmer on low for a good 45 minutes all right guys so the chicken is cooked down just a little bit it's been about five minutes i went ahead and flipped over the pieces to get all of that yummy spices into the mix you can see it's releasing some liquid yay and now guys as much as you like sprinkle on some cilantro you can even put green onions in here if you'd like. And then once again, guys, you're going to cover it. And here we go, guys. It's been about 40 minutes. And look how wonderful the chicken looks. It's rendered so much beautiful liquid. Now what we're going to do is just transfer the chicken to our pan so that we can make sure that our cauliflower cooks through. All right. All right, guys, so here is what it rendered. Look at all that yumminess. Now, this may or may not be enough liquid, guys. Not sure yet. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put in my rice, mix it around, and we'll decide. All right, let's add our rice. Oh, I love... Guys, I love arroz con pollo. My mom was a fabulous cook. Oh my gosh. She could make anything and everything taste good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this well mixed. And then we're gonna put a lid on it. Let's see if the cauliflower itself is gonna release a little bit of liquid. And if not, we can add some more. Okay, guys, back in a minute. Oh guys, check it out, yummy. So guys, about five minutes into cooking the rice, letting it steam, I went ahead and sprinkled it with some more cumin and a little bit of cilantro flakes, put the chicken back on and let it simmer for about five or 10 minutes. And look at that guys, this is the way that I love eating my chicken, where it has more of the fat releasing into the rice, collie rice in this case. And some of it over here has not done it as much, but oh my gosh, guys, doesn't that look good? Arroz con pollo, babe. 
eat up. You will need to add fat to this, guys, all right? Or just serve it with some avocado, serve it with some uh, sour cream, and you are good to go, guys. And when you cook it, cook it in a little bit more bacon drippings, and that will help break up the fat content as well, or olive oil, whatever you're using. All right, guys, I hope you try this. I'm excited to eat this for dinner. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.